Hi, my name is Mahdi Jafar. I'm 15 years old. I'm from Afghanistan. I live in Moria refugee camp on Lesbos Island in Greece country for five months. We're living here without sanitary facilities and without electricity. How can we protect ourselves in here from the coronavirus? Our tent is tiny. How should we protect ourselves here? I hope that Moria won't become a place for the dead. We escaped through the mountains and didn't die in the attempt. We came here by boat and survived that. I don't want us to die in Moria. The camp has a capacity for 3,200 people. Currently, 25,000 people live here. My mother, my brother and I live here too. Right now, the coronavirus is spreading all around the world. Everyone has to quarantine themselves and stay at home. We are unable to quarantine ourselves. How can we protect ourselves from the virus? We lack the means to do that. Today is the first day of Favadin, the beginning of the Iranian calendar year. Corona is definitely not good, but it does have something positive. It ensures that the streets in Tehran are emptier. There are fewer people out and about, so the air is cleaner. I wonder if the virus kills more people than the polluted air. I taught at a university in Tehran. After eight years there, an ideological values commission fired me because of my pro-Western thoughts. After that, I planned on going to Austria to work at a university there. I already had a promise of a job from Vienna. But the Iranian embassy refused to give me a visa since I didn't have enough money to go to Austria. After that, I became unwell and had to put myself through chemotherapy. I find it fun to paint my toenails. I enjoy that. I really like it. But here in Iran, people react strangely to colored nails. They don't say anything completely insulting. But some... They ask, for example, if I am homosexual. How are you? How's it going? Good, good. Have you got corona? No, not yet. Hopefully you catch it. Why would you say that? I believe that we won't get a treatment. Instead of hiding oneself for as long as possible, it's actually better to be unwell and then get better again quickly. I 
Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echot. My name is Gershon Moskowitz from Jerusalem, Israel. So we are now in uh, um, extreme lockdown. Still continues in my neighborhood in Jerusalem, since many of my neighbors, my sect, old Orthodox are sick compared to secular Jews. I think people realize that's it, we live in a new era and we have to change our customs. What we see now is the silent prayer. It's called Tfilat Shemona Esre. We pray three times a day. It's a silent prayer. It means you speak to God alone. Amen. People are praying. You can see people sit far from each other. The streets are quite empty, silent, hardly any uh, cars. And especially in an epidemic, people want to pray to God for a long time that He should give them salvation, He should help them to say to stay safe. But now there is a, a feeling of importance of change. It's very interesting for me as a Jewish young man. It was a big discussion if to close the yeshivot because uh, usually we believe that if people study, uh, it uh, helps the world survive. No, this is not possible. Not any sort of. No, this is not stick to two meters. Israq, watch out. Many children do not keep the two meters. Israq, you aren't keeping to two meters. Oh, enjoy. Here is my balcony with my lovely flowers. It's spring. I have strung up and dried these chilies. Now I've got to chop them up to make chili powder from them. They say here, the people say that the Americans have developed this virus to kill Iranians. Because Iranian genes are similar to Italian genes, Italians have been killed by accident. I don't think about the virus so much. If I think too deeply about it, then that just makes me unwell. I have the feeling of being trapped. We're unable to leave Iran. At least it's difficult. Our currency has no value. Our passport is worthless. If everyone now says that we should stay at home, then I say, I was already locked up before this. Everywhere, loads of rumors are circulating. It's already bad because the Iranian government does not have the situation under control. It's a third world government. There is no access to first hand news. There's no freedom of the press and no reliable media that you can trust.
and for Leas a square, a huge poster has been put up. Normally you would see political propaganda here. Now it says, stay at home. It's very quiet right now. I wish that Corona didn't exist. But this silence is very nice. <laughs> My name is Ahmed Rezai. I'm from Afghanistan. I'm 30 years old. Uh, I'm living at the moment Greece country, Ireland. This was Island and at Moria Canto. I'm refugee too. And I'm here for two years. Everywhere, even by the tents, there's rubbish all around. Nobody deals with it. Rubbish is simply stuffed into plastic bags. It stinks really badly. Now with Corona, the situation can become even more dangerous. If the virus gets into the camp here, how should we fight it in these circumstances? In order to explain to the people how the spread of corona can be reduced, posters were put up. Here it says how we should wash our hands. And this is what it looks like in the toilets. It is dirty everywhere in Moria, and there is hardly ever water. How are we supposed to wash our hands and face? When there isn't any water. Everyone can see how catastrophic it is here and how much worse it can still get. Moria was not made for 25,000 people. <laughs> 